Oh yeah, love it, love it. Let's some eyeshadow, so let's get started. Hey guys, so I'm doing my monthly favorites and this month is May. Um, we're not even out of May yet, but it seems like everyone's doing them already, so why not? Um, I don't think I've ever done a video, I don't think I've ever done a monthly favorites video, so this is new to me, so let's get started. First is this lotion, and it is by Jergens, and this is actually the one that I guess you use first, I don't know, I used this one first, and then I graduated to like a bigger bottle. Um, but it does give you a very good tan, very good coloration, um, not much bad things I can say about it. It's really good, um, it does say that it has no odor, um, I but do I do notice a, um, like, tanning, like, fake tan smell, Blah. I do notice fake tan smell. But, I mean, it's not anything that you can't live with. It's not anything you can, you know, it's just very faint. But, um, yeah, so this is one of the things I'm loving to get my color, um, my color on. And, I mean, it works pretty good. I was really, really white. I was probably about that white, so, yeah. Next, let's see, let's go to hair product. Next is this um, Argon... Moroccan Argon Oil, um, per, bleh, Moroccan Argon Oil, take freaking three. Renewing Moroccan Argon Oil. Yeah. So, I mean, this is really good. I'm not even going to try and read the description again because it was a freaking tongue twister and I got all twisted up. But it's very good, um, yeah, it has a whole bunch of stuff on the back, um, why we love it, why you want it, why, what's in it for you, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, it's really good from my own experience. Next is a, um, this is my, it's an anti-wrinkle cream and it has collagen in it. This is what I use all the time, you guys, I'm not even kidding, like, all the time. I use this for a night moisturizer, and I'll put it on a little bit heavier at night, and then in the morning, I'll put it on a little bit lighter. Um, but yeah, when I went to Target, this is just a sample size, and it is 1.5 um, ounces, which is like what you would normally get in a regular size, but and it was like $2. But I went to Target, and they had like, I'm not even kidding you, it was like this big. It was the biggest, like thing of cream or moisturizer I've ever seen. But anyways, this has lasted me a pretty long time. It smells really, really good. It looks like that in there. I don't know if you can really see that. Oh yeah, you can. Um, so I'm going to have to get some more soon. But this is a great um, moisturizing cream. And it says that it rejuvenates and it prevents wrinkles, so you can never be too early on that bandwagon because you do not want to have some wrinkles going on in your face. No. Next is a irritated eye relief. Uh, blah, 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 I don't even know. But it's a multi-symptom redness. It is for multi-symptom. It's for redness, watery, discharge, burning, grittiness, dryness, and stinging. I have all of those, you guys. My eyes suck. They are always constantly watering, and I always have freaking problems with them, so this is so amazing. Um, I just put, like, a few drops in at nighttime, and if I don't the next morning, like, I know that I didn't, like, today, I didn't, and my eyes hurt so bad, and they're gonna hurt all day long, so fun stuff. Um... So next I'll go into, I have two really random products. One is my sunglasses. These are my sunglasses, you guys, and I love them. And they were at Walmart for like $5. They look like this on the sides. They're just super cute and super fun. Um, they're kind of like an aviator type sunglass. I do not see the point in buying expensive sunglasses when I'm just going to break them um, in the summertime. And when you take them swimming and everything else, um, when you're laying out and they get squished and everything else. So, I mean, I always invest in a bunch of cheap pairs of sunglasses. 
I got these at Walmart and I actually got them last year. So, if you can't find them, I'm sorry. But, I'm sure they have something like that. Next, a very random product and then it is all beauty, I promise. They are these um, Advocare Catalyst Pills. Um, and they are amazing and this is what they look like. They are the bomb. Dot com and I don't ever, 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 ever say that. I think that's actually really stupid to say. Why? I don't even know why I said that. Anyways, these, because I work out five days a week, um, and I have an amazing trainer, but anyways, that's not the, <laughs> that's a different video. Um, these are really great. They are an amino acid dietary supplement. It supports muscle tone and enhances strength and energy. Um, these do not give you, like, the jitters, these just give you um, like the strength to keep going during your workout. And with my workout, it's 45 minutes of hardcore shit. So, um, having a supplement that's really going to help you get through is something that's so amazing to me. And um, there's only like a few ingredients even on there. There's not that many. Um, yeah. I think that these are amazing. I highly recommend them to everyone. Um, they just help me get well, the job done. On to the uh, beauty products I have. I have some lipsticks, some mascaras, some even a concealer, um, and just some amazing stuff. Some eyeshadow, so let's get started. First is my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And I absolutely love this stuff. It comes like this. It's just a pressed powder, and I just now seen I'm hitting pan. Oh, no. So, I guess I'm hitting pan. This might show up in an empties video, which I'm saving up for. It is long-lasting pressed powder. Um, yes, Rimmel London Stay Matte. I am in the number 004 Sandstorm. This, you guys, is just an amazing powder to make your face really stay matte all day. Um, I don't have a problem with oil, grease, or shine, but um, this, if I did, this would be the powder that I would definitely, definitely, definitely go for. Um, I use this over top any of them. This is very comparable. This is very comparable in my eyes to my MAC Mineralized Skin Finished Natural, and in that I am medium plus. So these are my two powders I go to at all times. I do not have a different powder I go to. These are my absolute favorites. So um, they're very, very comparable in my eyes. I think they do the same thing. I honestly think this one keeps you more matte all day. And this one's just like a powder. But I love them so much. Favorites, favorites, favorites. It's the point of this video, right? Favorites. Duh. Whew, okay, now since we're on the face, I'm going to go on with this. This is my favorite, absolute favorite, hands down, nothing beats it, my Pro Longwear Concealer. I have tried a lot of concealers, and this is my favorite. So, yeah, this would be my favorite. I'm going to get a Prep and Prime pen because I cannot stand it anymore. It needs to be in my life. I need to own it. I. This is my uh, Light Bright pen lightning pen by Hard Candy. The only thing I don't like about this is that it gets very cakey if you do not work with it quickly. And, um, I don't know. I just don't like that. Nope. So, I mean, I love this pen and I will continue, probably continue to repurchase it. It's very similar to the Glamouflage, uh, concealer. Um, and I use mine in light because I like a lightened up look under the eyes, but I don't know if I forgot to use this today or what, but it doesn't even look like I'm a little lightened up under there today. But anyways, um, I'm going to save for a MAC Prep and Prime pen because I need you in my life, Prep and Prime. I need you in my life. Right now. Okay. Back to this. So, MAC Pro Long Art Concealer, it comes with this little pump and it's so cute and, uh, yeah. Um, the only thing that I don't like about the pump is that it pumps out too much product sometimes. So you really have to be careful and really have to have control over your finger when you are pumping this out or you will have a big huge glob of concealer. And some girls on YouTube actually put their excess concealer into like a little jar or whatever because it really pumps out that much. So, just something to think about. 
Next, I'm going to go to mascaras because I only have two. Um, my CoverGirl Clump Crusher is my absolute, hands down, favorite mascara of right now. And the little wand that looks like this. And this is amazing. You can put on as much as you want. And it's not going to clump. It's not going to do, I don't know, it's not going to get gross on you. And then on top of that, I like to use the Maybelline Rocket Mascara. Which looks like this. So, yes, I put the clump clush, clump clusher, blah, clump crusher on top. I do a few kill, few kill, <laughs> what the fuck? I do a few coats of the clump crusher and then I do a few more of the rocket. And they are just an amazing, amazing team in my eyes. And I love them so much. And I know that you can compare, you can pair this with like, anything and you're gonna have a good outcome because it's the bomb okay so I'm gonna do eye products and then lip products so my two eye products of favorite of now are the Maybelline color tattoos and this one is too cool and I will get a little bit on my finger that's what it looks like that's a very cakey um, swatch because I can't really get my finger in there with my nails. That is the only downfall of anything that comes in a pot. So my paint pot and everything like that. But that is that one. And then we have this one. And this one is called Inked and Pink. Hopefully I can get some on my finger for you. And that one is Inked and Pink. That one is um, too cool. So these are just the color tattoos by Maybelline, I think, yeah. These are the color tattoos by Maybelline. Um, they're amazing. I really don't have anything bad to say about them. They are an amazing base for any shadow that you want to lay on your eyes. So, um, yeah, and I think these two colors would go good with any skin color. This is an amazing highlight for your inner corners. And this one, even if you don't have very much time, you can just dip your finger in there, dip a brush in there, and do like a wash of color over your lids, and then boom, you're ready to go. So, yeah, those are two of my favorites um, paint pot things that I've been loving. Next is this... Oh, I really thought there was someone there. Next is this... Um, I think you guys have seen this like a hundred million times. I have used this literally, you guys, like every time I've been doing my makeup lately. This is Petal Pusher by Wet n Wild. And it comes in all these pretty, pretty colors. And yep, that's about it. They're so pigmented and so, the color payoff is so amazing. Um, I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love these. Whoa. Whoa. These are so pretty and so pigmented that I can't even say enough good things about them. Um, I have so many swatches in all of my videos, but I might insert a swatch uh, picture. But anyways, these are so beautiful and so pigmented. I love them, love them, love them. That's the only thing I have on my eyes today. Um, yeah, and I didn't even use a black out of here. The darkest darkest color that I used was this one right here. So beautiful. That was like barely touching it, you guys. I'm so serious. These are so amazing. I love them, love them, love them so much. That's just like a lightly touched swatch. So those are so beautiful. Okay, next are lip products, and then I think we are done. Um, my favorite lip products of right now, my lip gloss I have been using every single day, have it on right now, is this, um, I can never see the name of it, Glisten Up Pink by Maybelline. And it comes in a tube like this, and the applicator looks a little something like that. So yeah, super pretty, super pigmented, um, super glossy, and it stays on for a long time. Unless you're sitting here talking up a storm like me, but I don't think I've even touched up my lips this whole time. So, this is an amazing product, and I love to pair it with this one. This is Wet n Wild Fergie Daily. It has a really vitamin-y smell when you put it on your um, lips, 
But, I mean, if you want a pretty nude, you just get over it. Um, but, yeah. So, this is super pretty. I didn't even show you. This is what it looks like. I think I'm going to be inserting pictures, so, right now. But, this is so pretty, and it's numbers A033 Fergie Daily. And it is a pretty nude, and these are so pretty together. I just don't know what to do with myself. Next is also by Wet n Wild, and this is called Dollhouse Pink. I am loving this pink. It is so pretty and so pigmented. So, thanks for watching, and I hope you all stay beautiful. And remember, you're already beautiful inside. And that's all that really matters. I'm just showing you tips and tricks on how to apply makeup to be beautiful on the outside. But everyone, every single one of you are beautiful on the inside. Remember that, because I don't think people tell women and girls enough how beautiful that they really are without makeup. So, that's just a little nice thing to say for the day. And I truly, truly, truly mean it. And I love you all so much. So much, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah! Stay beautiful.